What's up, everybody? How you doing? Seth Goldman here, hooking you up with your entertainment buzz. Well, I'm here for a premiere. It's actually the final film project ever from the late Christopher Reeve, an animated baseball film called Everyone's Hero. And all the stars are saying it's going to hit a home run. Uh -huh. At least they got the bat. In this heartwarming comedy, a young baseball fan named Yankee Irving and the talking baseball set out on a cross-country quest to recover Babe Ruth's stolen bat and help the Bronx Bombers win the World Series. I chatted with the voice of the boy, J.T. Austin, even though I didn't really approve of his baseball team. Are you a fan yourself of baseball? I love baseball. I love the Yankees. They're my nice favorite. Nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you. I'll see you later. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm a Mets fan. I'm a Mets fan. I'm messing around with you. But later on, I meet up with Jake, who actually also voices the main character in The Ant Foley. So this is your second animated film this year, right? Yes. What is going through your mind? It's pretty crazy, but at, on the other hand, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty great. Fastball is my middle name. My daddy taught me to pitch when I was four years old. And along the way, Yankee meets Marty, a fun-loving tomboy who helps him achieve his goal. And I guess you could say the voice of Marty, that's so Raven. Yep, Raven Simone, that is, the Disney sensation who, as you can see, was very hard to pull away from the little guys. Wow, that was some response. Unbelievable. So anyways, let's talk about the film. Yes, the film is amazing, amazing, everyone's hero, a wonderful story of courage and following your dream and knowing that everyone has a little hero inside of them. And unlike her character, Raven admitted she's uh, not the biggest baseball fan, however, she does respect the game. You know what I like? Yeah. I like what baseball does to people. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that it brings people together and it brings the family together and watching something because nowadays it's hard to just sit everybody down at the dinner table. So that's what I like about baseball. And speaking of America's pastime, what's a baseball film without the great Bambino? Brian Dennehy voices the babe and believe it or not, Brian didn't just bring experience as an actor. So I heard that you were a former athlete in your day, is that true? Yeah, well, a long time ago. I, if, if playing football for Columbia can be called being an athlete, I was, yeah. But when it comes down to it, Brian, along with the rest of the cast, says the movie is less about sports and more about a gift to Christopher Reed, who co-directed the picture, and along with his wife, passed away during the making of the film. If Christopher and Dana were here today, what would they think of the film? I think they'd like it. They'd like the fact that there's a lot of kids going in there. It's a good story for kids. It's a, it's a, it's a great... It's a great message for them, a great theme for them, and you know their their lives were all about sacrifice and hard work and trying to turn something good out of something bad, and they, God knows they achieved that. All right, the kids are gonna love this one, and the big kids like myself, I'm gonna love it too. So if you want to see it for yourself, Everyone Zero flies in the theaters this weekend. If that's your entertainment buzz. I'm out of here. Gonna go work on my swing. I'm Seth Goldman for MSNBC.com in New York.